What's up guys? So, I just watched The Boys Season 4 and I feel like most people, including me, liked it. This show has to be the most refreshing premise probably ever in the superhero genre. You have all the funny parody of Marvel and DC, Disney in real life, and social media. But more than that, they've built a large number of entertaining characters. And to give extra credit, they've recovered from Season 3's dull ending and Gen V and have successfully primed themselves for the final season. Guys, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see Homelander vs. Butcher, who now has Venom powers. Bro, this is about to be a fire fight, bro. Oh my, wait, whoa, 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 wait. Guys, I just, I just forgot. I'm not 12 years old. Remember when The Boys was about very vulnerable humans trying to find a weakness in these superheroes? Now everybody just fights, and superhero fights. Bruh. Again, the show is fun. Homelander is a funny guy. Deep. Blow a <sighs> but viewing the show, seeing all these different plot lines, more chemical backstory, Frenchy shit, Starlight gets canceled, there's a character with a fucking podcast, it's clear that a lot of this show is aimless. Sure, you can appreciate stuff about these plot lines and they're never that tedious, but they definitely don't contribute to the forward momentum of the overall story. And the more I think about it, it's like, can you even call the boys more mature than Marvel? Because at this point, it's not even tense, Butcher is at the point where he can just have casual conversations with Homelander, and the politics plot lines are now just, oh my god, who's gonna get canceled, guys? We need to stop these Starlighters. Mature is not the right word. It's just edgy. Remember when the characters actually had to think about their decisions? Remember when Homelander actually felt like a threat and I guess had aura? People say he lost his aura because he was mysterious and got revealed to be a man-child in a way. But in season one, you could already armchair diagnose him as attention starved. The reason he lost his aura is because they fucked the stakes. It's not just that we see the boys gain powers and have a really cheap fight scene. But in season two, the boys just escape Homelander on foot and again in season four. And listen, it's fine, okay? It's simply not that type of show anymore. <laughs> Everything that makes the boys unique was taken really seriously in season one. And the way the aspects of the universe were explored were very smart and actually mature. Every single aspect of the show was essential to the world building because the world building was a big part of the story. You had two incredible characters with Huey and Starlight who were both used as vessels to explore and grow into the universe. It's still a comic book theatrics which in my opinion worked really well. Billy Butcher, the superhero villain name, right? The scene when he tells Huey that Homelander raped his wife. It's a really important moment in the show so it dramatizes it with the music which I think works perfectly, but that's besides the point. The point is that the boys TV show was built as a grim, naturalistic take on superheroes, which is why it so carefully made sure to never play with the stakes. The scene when Homelander is scoping the city using his x-ray vision. Homelander is terrifying simply because he is that powerful. The boys are just a bunch of rats basically. This grounded approach really sheds light on how dangerous a superhero can be. But these days, powered or not, they just fucking punch each other. The focus season one put on how to best a superhero, to find their weakness, that was so compelling. Each one with a unique power that requires a unique solution is, uh, it's never the same twice. And the entire point with Homelander is that he has no weakness, which is why Butcher decides to instead try and scar him emotionally like he's been scarred. You know, Homelander in the later seasons keeps talking about Billy Butcher, we're gonna fight to the death one day. And in my opinion, we already got the peak confrontation between these two in this scene. Listen, I watched the show with my mom and I can tell you that as seasons went on, she kind of lost some interest. And it's whatever, you know, she doesn't care, she's not a critic. But I can tell you that during this scene, she was literally at the edge of her seat. Like from the moment you hear Homelander land upstairs, the amount of tension and atmosphere this scene builds is incredible. And the way Homelander carries himself in this scene with him in a way being at his most exposed, the use of filmmaking and lighting, like dude, where the fuck did this creativity go? It's not some action packed scene because to me, the boys was never supposed to build up to a final battle ass boss fight. This is not a heroic story and most characters in this show are bad broken people. They're not doing this for some enlightened reason which is why I think this self-revealing, almost tragic confrontation was the most meaningful way to do it. Season one felt like it had the most to say and it was the show at its most purposeful. The difference in technical writing and inventiveness is also simply way too significant to not mention. This scene, where up to this point, the show has almost perfectly portrayed Huey's mental state as he hesitatingly submerges into this fucked up way of life. The way Frenchie explains what it's like to kill someone, he takes his time immersing himself in the memory, recalling every insignificant little detail Detail, just illustrating how much of an emotional burden killing is to him. Frenchie obviously chose his life, 
but it's like a lens into his own complicated morals. I really wish I could just play the scene, but I can't, you know, it's whatever. This idea is not only reflected onto Huey, but also Butcher in the scene. Not only showing us their empathy, but also degree of nuance with the idea communicated. It's such high quality that it's almost like a ripple effect, which just makes it that much more annoying, I guess, to see how in later seasons they've just run this idea into the fucking ground in the most simplistic, rudimentary way possible. The boys now is building up to some goofy ass hero Warren. It's, it's fine, okay? It's still a fun show. What makes it unique is all still there, but what made it special, that's what's gone.